The play that changed it all. The 2024 season was derailed by a Hail Mary. What happened? I want to talk about Tyreek Stevenson. He became a national storyline on Sunday night after videos went viral of him celebrating and taunting fans on the field for the final two plays of the game. Videos of him taunting the fans while the commanders were running down the field have surely been seen by everyone by now. But what happened on that play? The commanders were clearly holding our pass rushers, but the refs would leave the game with their flags in their pockets, similar to how Matt Eberflus would leave the game with his timeouts in his pocket. I wanted to talk about Tyreek, though. I didn't want to overreact and talk about this right after it happened. We were all probably very mad. I wanted to step back, gather all the information, and cool down. But I did want to address it. Let's go ahead and get right into it. First off, Tyreek has apologized multiple times and addressed his teammates. He talked about letting his teammates down in a situation that they knew how to handle with their eyes closed. Letting the team down after coming back was a big disappointment. I'm sure he's beating himself up and taking this hard. This is something he has to learn from. But why did it happen? Should he be suspended or punished? And what is the lesson here? Matt Eberflus would break down what many of us thought after seeing the play after the game. Tyreek Stevenson not only wasn't engaged in the play, but he was supposed to be boxing out Diami Brown, the guy who caught the touchdown. Instead, he was arguing with fans. He did run over and tip the ball, but that's not what he was supposed to do. He was supposed to be guarding the guy who was standing wide open in the end zone. Look, I was ready to cuss Tyreek Stevenson out after the game, but honestly, I think this has gone a bit too far. It's now a nationwide story. Last night on SportsCenter, they showed off the entire play like 15 times and had an entire segment even adding a doink sound effect when Tyreek tipped the ball into the air. Like, come on now, guys. Tyreek is still pretty much a kid. He's 24 years old. He made a mistake, he apologized for it, and he will learn from it. However, I do think he needs to take this seriously, and not just that one play. I honestly worry about Tyreek more than any other player on the team when it comes to keeping his emotions in check. He was going at it with Terry McLaurin all game long. Not just during plays though, I'm talking well after the plays were over. And out of everyone on the roster, Tyreek is the one that I'm probably most worried about losing his temper and getting us a flag. And he also did that in this game as well, drawing an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty against Terry McLaurin. And he also gave up a big 61-yard reception that could have led to a touchdown, but luckily we held him to a field goal. And then on top of that, when he wasn't paying attention and being engaged with the fans on the final two plays, he was supposed to be guarding the guy that caught the touchdown. That was Tyreek's responsibility. His job was not to try to tip the ball. He is the guy who tipped the ball, though, right into the hands of the Washington Commanders receiver, adding insult to injury. This was probably the worst game of Tyreek Stevenson's career, but it was only because of his mistakes and lack of discipline. He actually performed pretty well most of the game, but a lack of concentration and discipline cost this team, it cost this fan base, and it cost Tyreek. I've been struggling for three days now on what to say about this guy. Immediately after seeing the replay of the Hail Mary, I wanted to bench him. I thought he should be suspended and punished. I was fuming. How can you have such a lack of discipline in a live NFL game? I've never seen stuff like this before, and I've watched thousands and thousands of plays in the NFL. But I've never seen a player pretty much pulling an Antonio Brown during a live NFL play. And yes, that is kind of what I'm comparing it to. Tyreek didn't walk off the field, but he cared more about himself in that moment than he did the football team, the city, or the fan base. And it's hard to put my disappointment for that into words, but I'm not here to tear the guy down. I'm just trying to paint the entire picture, and I'm sure a lot of other fans are struggling with how to feel on this one as well. Tyreek is just a young man becoming an adult. He's only 24 years old, and this is his second season in the NFL. He has a ton of potential and is ultra talented. He has to already be beating himself up enough about this one. Imagine if that was you and you made a stupid mistake because we've all made mistakes, 
but you cost your team and the city of Chicago a football game. Hopefully, Tyreek learns from this and it motivates him and causes him to lock in and bring a new level of focus to his game. I'm not here to harp on him further or to bring him down, but I did want to fully talk about the entire situation. And yes, it was, simply put, one of the stupidest plays I've ever seen in my entire life as a football fan. But it's also just that, a stupid mistake. Emotions are involved, and that is something that a guy can learn from. We have a very young football team full of players who are still growing and learning every single week. This is a huge learning lesson for this team. It's also a moment of truth for the 2024 Chicago Bears. This rebuild and Matt Eberflus's future is on the line. How will they respond to this adversity? That is what matters most, and that is on the coaching staff. Some of the comments from the players seem to hint that they also blame the coaches for this. How this team plays on Sundays the rest of the season will determine if we are looking for a new coaching staff this offseason. But when it comes to Tyreek Stevenson, yes, I was extremely disappointed. And it's honestly one of the biggest mistakes I've ever seen from any Chicago Bears player. The biggest problem to me is that the game was not over yet. They were still playing live NFL football games, and it did really matter. And it seemed like he had just checked out, and it's just mind-boggling. What do you guys think about the situation? I am really curious to hear how you guys would feel about it. Let me know in the comments. Please remember to hit that like button for me. Stay tuned. I have a ton more content on the way. And until next time, bear down.